Life sometimes plays out in unexpected ways. A Hollywood legend, a man who created a unique special effects technique, was forced to come to Albuquerque for medical treatment that he needed to save his life. He ended up staying, and now he uses that same technique he developed for movie making to show the city that he loves in ways you've never seen. Here's Kim Holland. Boy, that sky looks nice. You can find beauty almost anywhere. Here we go. Bill Tondro. The beauty here is this exceedingly simple uh, uh, scene. Wants people to see the beauty of Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm still actively working on it. As he sees it. And I kept seeing these great scenes, these really wonderful scenes. And, and um, I kept saying to myself, gee, why aren't people taking pictures of these? He fell in love with photography as a kid. My earliest memories are photography were as a four-year-old watching my mother. But recently perfected a new skill. A decade ago, he picked up his digital camera and captured the sun slipping down the Sandia Mountains, stretching across the high desert, and quickly turned an amateur photographer. Something clicked. Into a renowned artist. Th through totally undeserved beginner's luck, got one of my best pictures ever, and you know, one of my best sellers ever that very first night. But these aren't just any photos. Tondro uses a distinctive technique he perfected almost a thousand miles away in Hollywood. <laughs> Decades ago, Tondro wrote the computerized software that creates the same camera motion multiple times to overlay scenes crucial for special effects. He also designed the dollies and electronics. For more than 30 years, the system has been used in thousands of movies, including huge blockbuster ones, most recently the Lord of the Rings series. And that repeat motion camera was used to be able to mix together uh, normal sized people at um, Hobbit scale at three foot six inches. Then in 1988, Tondro moved to Albuquerque. I said, oh no, Albuquerque. Kicking and screaming. Are you kidding? That's out in the middle of desolation. He was forced to come. This really peculiar thing. For important medical treatment. It was life threatening, yeah. It was a brain tumor. It was an experimental treatment and um, it was very successful. And on about the third week of that, I realized how, how, how my blood pressure had gone down, how uh, I was a lot more relaxed. By golly, I, I just decided to stay. In 2005, Tondro started using some of his skills he perfected in the movies to create his unique Albuquerque photographs. Overlapping shots with different focus and exposures, capturing the city as the light glides across the landscape. These very elaborate sequences required to shoot these long, these long stitched, uh, joined together panoramas. We'll move the camera to the next position, overlapping the previous one a little bit. To shoot uh, a nine picture panorama might mean that I have to shoot uh, uh, 36 or 72 or more pictures. Tondro's art is a top seller at this gallery at 6th and Central. I sell at least one a day, if not six to eight. I had gone out to that location um, almost every day for an entire summer. The, the river happened to be pretty high. This, this was late October here. Showcasing Albuquerque to the rest of the country. We're all honored to have him. He's an incredible gift to the city of Albuquerque. I started shooting this about 15 minutes before sunset. Thousands of Tondro's photographs are scattered all over the U.S. No pun intended, the overexposure of the photos, if they're everywhere, that doesn't bother you? No, as long as people enjoy them. Tondro is now gearing up for his prime photo season, late summer to early fall, when colors are vibrant. That's, that's the season when Albuquerque is, this, you know, especially says cheese. Albuquerque is a, a marvelously photogenic city. I think people forget or get, get too used to it. Kim Holland. These, these are the story of Albuquerque. KRQE News 13. Wow, is that cool or what? Now, if you want to see more examples of Tondro's work and hear him explain how he melds those photographs together, just go to krqe.com. It is all hmm. right there.